Mic on. Mic off. Mic on. Six, five, four, three, and one. Here we are. <clears throat> Let's turn that uh, timer off. So we're just right now we're waiting for uh, my partner Doug to, sh to uh, sign on and then we will be all set to go. <clears throat> so this is just a continuation of the uh, Battle of Edge Hill 1642 using the uh, game system uh, This Accursed War. Very interesting system. It's a uh, Takes us takes us through a lot of the me mechanics or the uh, maneuvering maneuvers that the uh, of the time. Well, I think I see Doug signing on to. Uh, he'll be here shortly, I believe. Let me go ahead and invite him to my uh, invite him to talk here. Sending him in chat invitation. Hello? You there? Yep, I'm here. Can you hear me? I can. Very good. Okay, so ready to, uh, you already bring the game up or I need to, are you doing that? I'm bringing it up right now. Okay. Bringing it up right now. All right, I'll go start looking for it here in a second, whenever you let me know. All right, I'm connected. Let me create the room. Okay. All right. All right, then we'll start looking. Ready to go. Oh, I think I see it. Okay, there it is. Okay, I think we're ready to go here. What turn is it now? Uh, hold on here a second. Uh, start of turn eight. Yeah, start of turn eight. Start of turn eight. Well, it's almost and... over. I think it's going to be over one way or another today. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh absolutely. Well, I mean, where it's basically coming out to is a draw. I think My I don't God. think there's any way that it doesn't come out to be a draw at this My point, God. to be honest with you. Um, All right. So here we go. Okay. All right, so we got Rupert. Yep, I think Rupert's got the lead here. Yep, Rupert's got charge orders. So... We're going to go... That wasn't what I wanted to do. Mic off. My One. If, if I'm away for you a second, I'm still you. eating. I'm eating here at the same time we're playing. So. Oh, no problem. So if I so if I'm quiet, it's just because I'm mute. I'm mute. I'm mute. Three. My golf. Four. Five. My gone. And Rupert will. Oh, well, actually, he's formation shaken. So he only gets to move three. Mm -hmm. So he's My right God. there. So Rupert will move right there with that dude. And that means that 
this one musketeer here. My God. Has a strength of three. Will fire on Lord Generals. Okay. And let me get my charts. So I don't really understand why, but so I have my uh, I have my counter clipper sitting up here next <laughs> to my desk because yeah. I was going to clip counters right. uh, from a game, and. Then I figured out, I looked at the game, and the counters already have rounded edges, so I didn't need to clip them. Which game? But I haven't taken... Uh, oh it's uh, The Fate of Readers. Um, it's about the French Wars or religion. It's the second game in that series. It's a My good God. game. Um, mm -hmm. The uh, The first one was a good game. Uh, I haven't played this one, but it's, it's the same system. It's just more battles. Who, who puts it out? <clears throat> Um, it's, you know, same kind of units as this, right? but, um, it uses an area movement scheme and an area combat scheme. And so the combat's actually a lot faster than this. Okay. Um, I, I honestly, I, I kind of like it better than this to tell you the truth, mm -hmm. but, uh, so I've, I've just got my counter clipper sitting there. And I don't know why, but for some reason yesterday, Trotsky came up, looked at it, and started pawing oh at it. And then when I picked it up, he sniffed it, and then he took it. He actually took the handle in his mouth and took it. Oh my God. And I took it back from him, and then I squeezed it, and it squeaked. Well, that was it. <laughs> it became Satan. So he, he spent the next half an hour wanting to get my counter clipper. He can barely hold it, but my God. It, it made a noise. So that was it. Yeah. <laughs> he wanted the counter clipper. Yeah. Uh, all right. So we got a roll here. Okay. So, so he's, a, he's attacking three. from the flank. So I'll get a flank shot back then, right? Um, yeah, correct. Um, so it's a, what's that? Oh, it's not much of one, but I'll give it a shot back. <laughs> no, it's not much of one, but it's, it's something. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, it's likely that you're going to do at least a hit. Yeah. 70%, um, 70% chance. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. So Rupert's going to fire, uh, this guy and it's, it really doesn't matter that he's firing on you from the flank. No. In terms of my damage. Uh, but I get plus two to the die roll. Because I'm a strength three. Mm-hmm. And I roll a zero. It oh. can't get any worse than that. Oh, so yeah. it's a complete miss. All right. And my return fire. Complete pretty... miss. See here, I don't think I get. I don't think I have any modifiers unless I'm missing something. Mm -mm, no, it should be just straight up. Yep. Okay. And here we go. A seven. And of course you do a seven. You get one hit, in which there. is a hit. My golf. All right, and since you did fire combat with Rupert standing there, Rupert's got to do a casualty check. Mike on. Nope, no problem. I suppose it wasn't enough to cause a morale check either. Uh, no, because, well, let's see here. Uh, it's a, he's got a strength of six. So yeah, it was. Yep, he's gonna or he's got a morale of six. Mm -hmm. So any hit on a six is enough to cause you know, the off. morale check. Now he's got a minus two because Rupert's there. So it's got to be an eight or less, which it is. 
And that's gone. all Rupert can do. Okay. Um, I could try for a continuation, but frankly, I just don't see the point. All that'll happen is you'll shoot him up some more and another chance for Rupert to die. So we're not going to do that. Okay. All right. So I've got, you've got Balfour under charge. It must be getting pretty dark here in October in England. Yeah. Yeah. It, <laughs> it, it actually, at 8 yeah, p.m. I mean, it's, 8 PM, it's probably pretty dark. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, it's five. It's five. Uh, oh, wait, what, oh, it's 15? turn eight. Okay, I wasn't sure. I thought it was. It's okay. turn eight. It's five. Turn ten is six p.m. And these okay. are twenty minute. Okay, yeah, it's five. So it's five twenty. Okay, so, so it's, it's, it's not getting that dusk. It's <laughs> not that bad, but it is. It's getting dark. I mean, it's five twenty. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I was. Thinking... Um, and I think it actually ends at six because My it golf. got dark. My for, in the real battle. Yeah. Okay, so you got Balfour under charge. I've got Astley under charge. Mm -hmm. um, and then you've got Fielding under charge. Um, so it's a tie between Astley and Balfour. And since Rupert just went, Balfour gets to go. Okay question my two guys that are morale broken do they move first before i do anything or do they go they don't do anything they can't move okay, at all perfect. they they will move at, at the, the end, end. end yeah okay perfect 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 but yeah they don't do anything now theoretically you have to any unit that you have that is not in contact has to move at least one hex Towards guy. its closest enemy. Right. And this who's this, this guy here? It's a Bedford's gonna have to move. I think he's about the only one. <laughs> everybody yeah, I else think you're right. everybody else is in contact. Okay. Yeah, everybody else is in contact. And how far do leaders move? Leaders move like cavalry, so they move eight. And I, they have to do but they but they don't do form facing changes, do they? Your move or do they that, that um, I, I don't remember I don't, that i honestly don't they don't know. really have a facing no okay, uh, okay. all righty <clears throat> okay i gotta check the rules before i go do something stupid <laughs> all right let, let look at this chart here Okay, that's not going to make any difference. Because I, because I was thinking about pulling a, the Earl off, Earl of Essex, but I'd have to oh, yeah. and go go grab one of those guys. But I'd have to, but then Belfort Belfor would have to change his Belfort uh, would have to change formation to, to, to rally. Now that's not actually true. Oh, okay, what did, what did I'm saying wrong? The Essex could in fact as the army commander my golf essex can rally or reform a unit regardless they don't have to be in rally he just has to my be gone. with them okay but well that then that, that, but then i'll steal my plan here <laughs> maybe i can maybe. now he would have to move there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I got he won't that. be able to do it until the next activation. And army commanders can only activate. They can't activate in the first round? First, like, because we're no, they can activate in the first round. What I'm trying to remember is do they activate My only goodness. once or do they activate every time? And it may be that they activate every time. Give me just a sec here.
Ah, okay. My gone. So, army commanders activate each and every time an A wing of his army is successfully activated. Oh, so we, we could have been using them a lot more then. Yep, we could have been using them a lot more. An army commander is never marked as finished and therefore may activate multiple times during a game turn. Uh, Orders restrictions do not apply to actions performed by an AC. In addition, an AC action overrides orders restriction and counts as a unit's action for that activation phase. For example, an army commander can rally a unit whose gosh. wing commander is under charge orders, and that unit does not have to, and indeed cannot, move at least one hex closer to the near nearest enemy unit that activation. My God. Um, so yeah, we should have actually been using these guys way more often. <laughs> My God. It says here specifically, besides these, besides those actions, an army commander may perform any one of the following actions each My time God. he is activated. So, basically, yeah, what you could do here is you could activate Essex. Or Essex is activated because... You've got a wing that's activated. Right. You could move him this turn to, you know, one of these guys. Right. If Balfour continues... Then he can do the rally. Then he's activated and he can do the rally. Or if, or if Balfour doesn't, doesn't the other guy down here I have... It went here. Yeah, if Fielding then does... Yeah, yep. Then <laughs> I like right. This, this makes this. Now, I, think I can see this is a this is something we really missed here, but that's okay. <laughs> we really missed this. Yeah, this is huge. Um, in fact, if you're gonna do that, then let me move Charles. <laughs> oh, because Charles should have moved. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead and do Charles first. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, hold on here. Then do you want to go? Then you want to take your uh, finish back. So that you can... Yeah, because I could do a continuation. It would, would be worth doing a continuation. Yeah, now because you, you have something to do. Yeah, this this t totally changes everything. <laughs> Does, do you? But since you're in your charge, you're a guy that's the guy that's coming up on the side. He needs to move too, right? This guy that's formation shaken will need to move one. Right. Yeah. Okay. Right. So so he will do this. Well, yeah, but you got to first. You got to do your continuation. My right, God. you're right. I got to roll for the continuation, which I believe is a zero to three. Yep, it's a zero to three plus or a minus two. Mm -hmm. So let's see if we get it. Yes, and we do just barely. All right, so he moves up there. Charles will now rally. Mm -hmm. So I'm morale shaken, but I'm formation oh broken. Because you have to do reform actions. My gone. Right. But he's no longer routing off the field. That's the yeah, that's the important thing. So that so then the then the uh, we we just repeat this back. So army commanders can't do. The, the, fix the formations that would have to be the wing commander no they can also fix the formations but they can only do one action okay right okay so so you took care of the you can rally members. yeah I, I took care of the because i couldn't do a reform to a unit that's morale broken by definition any unit that's morale broken has no formation so until My he's God. no longer morale broken, you can't even start reform actions. My God. My okay. God. So now he's morale shaken. So next turn, if I wanted to, I could bring him to formation shaken. Right. This, this totally <laughs> changes My this God. game. It really makes the army commander worth something because we just My weren't God. doing anything with him. 
No, because they were flying around. <laughs> I mean, that's why I had Charles sitting back there. It was like, well, he can't do anything, and I don't want him to get My killed. Gosh. So I'll Where leave him going? back there, but this totally changes it. Well, at, le at least we figured this out before the end when they're really. When yeah. It's, it's really deadly now. <laughs> mm hmm. Okay. All right. So I could do, I could try another continuation. <clears throat> well, okay. Oh, so, but you're not going to do it. You're not going to do any shooting up here? Um, no, because you would be able to return fire. Okay, right. And I really don't want that guy to get chopped up. Okay. Um, so I'm not going to do anything there. He's just kind of blocking your way. Um, but he can do a continuation. We can try a continuation, which is going to be 0 to 3, minus 2, plus 1. Okay. So it's a um, it's a zero to three minus one, and we don't make it. Okay. So now he's finished. So now he's finished. And now it's over to Balfour. Now it's over to Balfour. Okay. First thing I'll do before I forget, I'll move the Earl of Essex here. One, two, yep. three, four, five, six. So he should make it with no problem. Okay, so that's it for him for now. Right. I wonder why, I wonder why it puts that green line there like that on that. Uh, it's it just show the movement. Show, it show the movement. Okay. It yeah, okay. show the movement. Alrighty. I mean, you can actually turn that off. Just what? Click on it, or uh, it's off. I mean, it's not as not. It's not as bright. <laughs> No, I just I turned it off for everything. Oh, okay. Or I actually actually removed it for everything. Okay. Not that it matters. It'll show up the next time though, uh, but next time we move, but Yeah. Okay. These guys are staying in here. Okay, so I just have to move one closer. I don't have to move up up in the contact, just one closer. Mm -mm. No, you don't. Okay, so I just move one closer. Okay. Let's see, make sure I might want to move uh, Balfour here. Because he, okay, so S is, 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 is Essex Calvary is, should be okay because he's two away there. Oh, it's good three for those guys, anyways. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. Okay, so I just need to move move char, move uh, Bath for over. Oh, we'll move him. To replace. How's that? One, two, three, four, five. Um, you can do that. You get a bunch of stuff out of command now. I think though, don't you? No. No, actually, you don't. No, because uh, yeah, no, because right. You don't. Oh, yeah. Right. All my so, stuff should be in command. Yeah. Only, only ones that are out right. of command are these guys back here, kind of. Right. He's going to trace to the Essex Cavalry. Mm -hmm. and the Essex Cavalry. And then each one of those is in range. Yep. So, yeah, that's actually a good spot for him. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay. Next thing we'll do is we'll start over here with the Lord General's foot. And, we'll okay. do, and we're going to do a... Probably a salvo, salvo. Okay. Okay, so we 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 determine we do row twice, right? But 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 morale, Correct. but morale, yeah. morale, morale, would just be so morale pluses. morale check only one. Yeah. yeah but it'd be just pluses if I get if I get that. Yeah, it's just pluses, right? Okay. Yep, it'll be two two fires, <laughs> but not two morale rolls. And I don't think there's anything minus to me. Mm-mm. Yeah. No. Okay, so we're firing. Nope, already. it should be straight up salvo. Salvo, and yep, and then just on the different on the salvo chart. Here we go. Right. Oh, of course. Of course. The best. So that that's do. one. One one casualty. Mm-hmm. And I'll get my salvo marker on there in a second. Second shot. Oh, okay, just as good. So you took two hits. Yep, two hits. Strength is 11. 
Um, and he would have had, he has to take a morale check for the salvo, but two hits is enough to make him take a morale check plus one. And he more than passes. All right. So he's now going to return fire. Okay. I am not going to do salvo, though. So it's two fires. All right. That's one hit. Okay. <coughs> and, and a hit. Two hits. Okay, that takes him down to 14. And that's enough because his morale is 7 for you to do a morale check. Just a regular morale check or a plus to it? Uh, no, it'd be just a regular morale check because um, I didn't use salvo fire. Okay. Ooh, but he fails. Morale check. Ooh, but you failed it. Morale shaken. It's not good. Yep, then I'll give you morale shaken. All right. Okay, so over here. Now you can <coughs> fire with uh, Charles Essex one, mm -hmm. but it's only going to be a one one, one die. Shot. Right. Yeah, one shot. Yep. Well, we might as well do a salvo. Okay. Uh, but don't forget you're in that he hedge stuff. So there's gonna be some yeah, we're in hedgehog, so it's plus one. Mm -hmm. <coughs> okay, plus one. Nine. Oh, there you go. That's a nine. Two hits. So that is two hits. That's not bad for a half a unit. No, that's not bad for... At that in fact that takes him down to oh he's he may break um all right so that takes him down to an, a strength of eight mm -hmm. um all right so we got to look at a couple things here his original morale is less than my golf yep. he's not at his casualty threshold yet um, however, he's going to do a morale check plus one, uh, but then he's going to get minus one because Astley's there. But the first thing we got to do is Not see if going. Astley snuffs it, and he does not. All right, so here's the morale check, which is a straight-up morale check, but it has to be five or less, mm -hmm. and it is not. He is already morale shaken. He is now morale broken. And he has a problem. Mm -hmm. Because he cannot retreat. There's horses in the way. Right. So the way this works... A second here. All right. It must use the unable to retreat table. Unable to retreat. I mean, we haven't. I haven't seen that one here. Where is that one? 
Yeah, that's a good question. Where is the unable to retreat? Here it is. I don't know if it's on this one. All right. Unable to retreat table. There it is. I see it. Yeah. And, it, and the worst part of this is that because my base morale is less than or equal to six, it's a minus two. Yeah. All right. So there's a good chance he's going to get snuffed. If he rolls anything less than a five. I don't see where the arm Which he does. He is gone. Dead box him. <clears throat> All right. So now Astley has mm -hmm. to move over here. He doesn't take any more. No, because he... He passed, uh, he passed that, a shot. That, yeah, he passed that test. Right. Mm -hmm. So he just has to move. Um, yeah, I think... Yeah, you don't have to move up because it wasn't close combat. No, you just died from firing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, turns out fielding is really shitty morale. That's the problem. He's, he's a five. Oh, the guy that just left, yeah. Yeah, he was a five, so not surprised he broke. Uh, all right, you going to do anything else with Balfour? Hmm. Let's see here. Oh, well, yeah, Balfour's going to... You mean... Uh, as far as... And his wing. Yeah. Oh, we're going to we're gonna try to go again. I'm just looking here to see... My cavalry was going to fire... Let's see here. Before I do that... Now, this is what I was thinking about doing. I'll try it over here. This Essex Light Guard with his pistols. Can he yeah. get a pistol shot? Or sure that... he can. Absolutely, you can. Okay. Yes, sir, you Bob. Yeah. Sure. I I'll mean, it ain't going to be great, but he can do it. Okay. Well, I'll, yeah, but thirty percent chance of uh, putting some more hits on this guy. Yeah, I mean, it's better than nothing, right? Okay. Yep. Exactly. So I'm going to take away and, one. And he gets plus one because that guy's in hedgehog. Yeah. Okay. So I took, I, I gave him a pistol, took a pistol away, and I get a plus one to the die. Yep. And so what do we got? Nope. Missed. A three, a four. It's a miss. Yep. I need a seven, eight. Or, okay. So then yep. uh, we'll do the same thing with Balfour. Yep. Same deal. Five, six. Miss. Miss. Getting closer. Just barely, but. Okay. Yep. All right. So I guess it's the time to see if I can. Uh, Continue. Let's see. Charge zero three. It's a wing commander, right? I got a wing commander there. I get so. Or no, I don't. Well, have a... Yeah, Balfour's the wing commander. So I get a plus one for that. Okay, zero to three plus one, right? Correct. You gonna try to preempt or anything? It's uh, zero to three minus one. Not oh, plus oh one. that's right. Zero to three plus. Oh, yeah. I... Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. Let's have Astley try and preempt at this point. There's no reason for him not to. Okay. Um, so preemption's a, and uh, he's in charge. Uh, so zero. it's a zero to four. Mm-hmm. Minus one. Mm-hmm. Which he does. Okay. About so, four's finished. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Um, so. We're going to go ahead. The first thing that Astley's going to try. Well, the first thing that's going to happen is this guy I'm going to change to formation shaken. And then I'm going to try and change Astley's orders. 
to I'm going to change his orders to receive charge. So I need to roll a zero to three. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, zero to two. Uh, minus one. A plus one. Well, no, because I'm not adjacent to an enemy unit. Okay, so it's a zero to two minus one. Oh, look at that. I okay. I rolled a zero. That was for what? I can't. I don't know. It was fallen. Oh, to make it was changing orders. Changing orders, right? Okay. Uh, changing orders to receive charge. Oh, okay. Um. And so, given that, I'm going to move. I'm now going to move Astley there. Okay. And I am going to now fire Salvo from Gerard onto the Lord General. Okay. All right, so two shots at Salvo. Mm -hmm. Here's the first one. A six. Two hits. That's two hits. And a zero Missed. for no hits. Okay, so it takes him down to 12. Right, and you're going to have to uh, do a morale check plus one. Okay. He seems to like it today. Well, he sure does. He sure does. He's in good shape. Now he's now he's going to return fire at minus one. Right. Okay. First shot. Miss. Miss. Second shot. Oh wait, no, it's not. A one. Oh, it's, it's a front. It's a front shot. Yeah, but it's a minus one. Remember, because of the salvo. Oh yeah, you're a minus one. So yeah. The, so the nine goes. Still, he still took. Yeah, he so, still took. It goes to an eight, so he still took two. Two for that one, but the first shot was a one, so he didn't get anything. Right. So he right. Took, still he took two two cash. Still took two. We're we're trading trading rounds here. Yeah, we are, and because of that, we've got to do a morale check plus one. Mm-hmm. And he just barely passes it. Yeah, it was close. He was, he but was he, kind of, he yeah. does indeed pass it. He was rocking back and forth there. Yeah, he does indeed pass it. That was just kind of a slugfest over there on that side. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of rough. Um, <laughs> kind of rough. All right. Um... And that's all that I can do right now with Astley's wing. Mm -hmm. um, except try for continuation. And I'm in receive charge, so I don't have a real high shot at a continuation. It's a zero to one, minus one. Uh-huh. But I might as well try. So I'm trying for a continuation. Are you going to try and preempt? Let's see what. I, let's see if there's anything I really want to do down here other than. <laughs> yeah, we'll try preempt. You'll still get an activation, so that's why I'm going to. Yeah, he would still get in. He, he just won't be able to continue. Right. I only need to do one thing at this point. So we'll, we'll try to preempt. And he's under charge order, so it's a zero to four. Right. 
with, with no uh, plus or minus. With no pennies, right. Okay, here we go. Zero to four preempt. No, he doesn't. Nope. Okay, now, now you can try for your continuation. Yeah, so he gets a no continuation marker. Which is, in fact, a marker. Oh, gosh, darn it. <laughs> yeah, some of these... Uh, yeah. Oh, well. I guess he run out of control figure controls. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure why, but... Maybe that's... There, was there, you think there could be... Maybe it's because there was a limit to the amount of stuff that they could put in there. I don't think there is. Um, anytime I've done a vassal module, I've not run into that problem. So I don't really know why um, they did that, but... It is what it is. They have those. They have all these counters in the in the game. Uh huh. Yep. So so I, I was thinking maybe they just wanted to sh they wanted to show some of the counters that they weren't using on the. <laughs> no, normally we'd have a whole truckload of counters out because there's counters for formation broken and formation shaken and morale broken and morale shaken uh -huh. and. Fired one pistol, fired two pistols, fired one pistol, but formation shaken. You know, there's a, just a truckload of markers because it's, you know, it's a freaking GMT game. They're, right. Yeah, that's what I was just thinking, you know, just, we're, tr we're trying to show, show off their counters. <laughs> I don't know. It's weird. But, you know, I, I was thinking after the last time we played, the more I thought about Mike it, off. I realized. Mike on. This is actually just great battles of history with gunpowder added. Yeah. It, it plays almost exactly like GBOH. It basically, Ben Hall took the great battles of history rules and reworked them to cover this period. But the counters and everything are exactly the same. You know, you have you have two hex counters to cover, you know, for the hoplites and all that kind of stuff. It's identical. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, so I got a zero to one minus one. Ha! You got it. I can't I can't believe it, but I got a continuation. Um, pretty freaking amazing. All right, so the first thing that's going to happen here. Um, is Charles is going to go ahead and fix the morale on this guy. And then Astley is going to fix the morale on this guy. <clears throat> and <laughs> yeah I just don't want to do that yet um, all right so Gerard is going to go ahead and fire Okay. And it's Do I want to do that? Do I really want to do that? Mm. Oh, what the hell? Gerard's going to fire. Okay. Two hits minus one. Or two shots minus one. Okay. There's a miss. 
But there's an eight. That's two hits. That's two two hits. Okay, so it takes him down to ten. And you now have to do a morale check plus one. Okay. I think he thought he's really liking it today. Boy, that's incredible. Um, especially because his morale's dropped to six. Uh, I was hoping. <clears throat> All right. Well, you get to return fire now. Okay. Here's the first shot minus one. Yep. Eight, seven. Uh, a seven. That's one. Two. Two hits, actually, right? Two hits. Yep. It's actually two hits. Mm -hmm. And then the second one. Now that's one. Uh, that's a that's a six. So that's a total of three hits. Mm -hmm. Well, wow, it's a real slugfest on this side. <laughs> yeah, this is this is ugly. Um, and he's almost at casualty threshold now. Uh, okay, so he's got to do a morale check plus one. And he passes. Yeah, they're pretty much shooting the crap out of each other over there. Um, all right. Well, given that. <laughs> I can't believe we're both passing around. We're just, there's a... <laughs> I know. I know. Um, there's basically. Oh, well, I, I could potentially do a continuation. Um I thought you already did two. No, I did one with him. Yeah, he only did one continuation. He activated, fired it. That was where the salvo fire came from. Mm -hmm. And then and he the, changed. Then he fired. Then the guy fired again, and this is the third time Gerard's fired. Is it? Yep. Because yeah, because that's where you fired salvo, and then you fired at minus one, and then you now you fired at minus one again. Did I fire at minus one? Mm-hmm. Pretty sure. Well, okay. Here's the way to tell it. So Charles activated and moved mm -hmm. when Rupert was activated. Right. Then. He moved up, and during Astley's activation, mm -hmm. <clears throat> he rallied. Right. Then he was, then he was at MS at that point. And, and so that would have been MS and formation broken. Mm -hmm. Yep, you're right. You're absolutely right. Mm -hmm. It's been three, so he's done. Yeah, because I, I was trying to preempt you on your, on your, mm -hmm. sec on your second one. Right. Yep, he's absolutely done. Um, there we go. Okay, so that leaves you with your buddy down here. And you still have Lord... Fielding. Wim you still have Lord, Lord Wimont, Wimont over here. Yeah, but you're under charge. Right, right. I just I just didn't want to forget that guy there. Okay, first yeah, thing... Yeah, you, you go next. First thing, since I'm he's active, then uh, the Earl of Essex is going to uh, take care of this morale broken here. Yep. So that kind of stops him at that point, doesn't it? Right. He can't do anything more. Right. But I mean, um, you're now. Right. But the guy that the unit's not going to run off, that unit's not going to run off. No, that unit will not run off. However, you do have to make him formation broken. I did. Oh, for me. No, you made him morale shaken. Well, I thought, okay. You did a rally, not a reform. Right, right, but he he was M, he was MB. That's why I just changed him around at MS. Right, but he's still when you when you he, rally think, a unit. Yeah, he was he was like this guy right here. This guy here needs to have a, a, a formation shaken too. The other guy next to him. Well, technically you can, but by definition, a morale broken unit has no formation. Right. When it rallies. 
Okay. It goes from no formation okay, to formation you're... broken. Okay. All right. I'm following you now. So I need to do both. I need to do do both of those. So the... right. You have to. So you. So Charles is taking care of all that down here. Yeah, Charles has done that. Does, that's he... that's where the three. Okay. The three activations came in. Mm -hmm. Okay. He he used two activations to mm -hmm. change oh. from morale broken right. first to morale shaken. And then, okay, that's the second you're... activation he changed from formation broken to formation shaken. Mm -hmm. And the third activation he rallied off the morale bro or the morale shaken. Mm -hmm. So now Belisai is just formation shaken. Right. I'm following you. Okay. But yeah, if that rally and, and reform are two separate actions. Okay. All right. So we took care of the Earl of Essex there. Yep. Correct. And this guy down here. Now. I got to move. I got Since he's under charge, I got to do something here. Yep. He's got to move one hex closest towards the closest enemy unit. Well, at least I'm facing the right direction. Yeah, that's true. Okay, there we go. How's that? There you go. Okay, so it's, so and he's and I'm going to mark him finished. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. That's it for him. Okay. All right. So I'm in rally, and um. So the first thing is I've got a wing that's activating. Mm -hmm. So Charles is going to go ahead and reform this guy. Okay. So he's in, in good shape again. Um, <clears throat> and now Lord Wilmont is going to rally... Um, those dragoons. And I believe... So, yeah. So what happens there is they can rally and they get his negative one. They have to do a morale check, but they benefit from his negative one because they're adjacent. So they have to roll a five or less minus one. Okay. Which they do. So they're no longer morale shaken. They've got good clean morale. And uh, Wilmot is in rally, so he cannot continue. So that finishes him. Mm -hmm. All right. So that puts us to the end of turn eight. You have one morale broken unit that has to now retreat off the map. So he goes to the dead pool. Yep. Send to the dead box. He's gone. All right. And that essentially leaves us still in uh draw all right so unflip leaders unflip fired clean up move get rid of the continuation marker get rid of the continuation marker yep. and we're ready to go again all right rupert all right so rupert Um, all right, so first things first. All right, so good old Charles is going to go one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right there. Okay. And these dragoons are going to fire on the Lord General from behind. Okay. So they won't get shot at. No return fire on them. Mm -hmm. um, they are, however, formation shaken, so they're minus one. I think that's a miss. That's an eight. Oh, it's an eight. Which okay. took them down to a seven, so it's a miss. They'd, they'd have made a hit if yeah. they hadn't been minus one. Yeah, that's right. Okay. <laughs> if they hadn't been minus one, they'd have, they'd have hit you. Okay, so that, no but they did not. Fire. No return fire to the rear. Right. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and move Rupert. Whoops. Rupert's going to move over there. Uh, I'm not going to have the musketeers. Oh, you know what? No, they couldn't have. Because that was... I was going to say the musketeers could have done return fire, but they couldn't have because they weren't... When you shot at Gerard, I was thinking they could do return fire, but they can't because they weren't the ones they got fired on. Mm -hmm. Um... And uh, Rupert's going to try and change orders. Okay. From charge to um, to uh, make ready. So it's a zero to three minus two. He ain't going to do it on a nine, though. Uh, all right, Rupert's going to try a continuation. Going to try and preempt. Rupert? Uh... No. Oh, yeah, I was saying here. All right. Yeah, no, no, no. All right, so it's a zero to three minus two. Mm -hmm. He does it. He continues. Mm -hmm. Charles is going to do a reform action right here. Okay. Um, the... And Rupert is going to do a reform action on dragoons. How, oh, he can do that with uh, under charge. Oh no, he is under charge. I forgot he didn't manage to change orders. Mm -hmm. um, so he's going to try and change orders. Okay. And that's a uh, again. From charge to make ready is a zero to three. He's a minus two. And he does this time. Okay. To make ready. All right. So given that and the fact that he's taken no other action, he is going to fix that formation. All right. And because he's who he is, he's going to try a continuation. It's zero to three minus two plus one. Going to preempt? No. no. He fails miserably and is finished. Mm -hmm. 
All right. That puts it in. Oh, you know what we didn't take off our we didn't take off our uh, salvo markers for last time. Wonder why they, oh yeah, you're right. Wonder why they didn't come off. Or... There's no automatic removal of salvo markers. You have to manually do it. Okay. Well, there. Yeah. Which is which is another weird thing about this module. <laughs> um, maybe because he could or he if he's. Yeah, I mean, if he's removing the other stuff, yeah, when you click the, you know, unflip this, unflip that, he, he could have made it remove Salvo too, but maybe, um, maybe he was. I, like I don't think the guy that the guy that wrote this module doesn't didn't. I, it, this was written a long time ago, mm -hmm. um, and so it's it's possible that Vassal didn't do some of the stuff that it does now, um, but I also don't think he really had a very deep understanding of Vassal either. Um, there's no reason he could not have put the charts in this. Mm -hmm. I mean, given that you can download My the gosh. damn charts from GMT, it's not like GMT would object to the charts being in Vassal. My gone. Right. <laughs> um, so I, I don't know, but um, all right. Anyway, it's Balfour. Balfour. Well, let's see here. Balfour's activation. So the first thing that's going to happen is uh, now, now I can reform him, right? Correct. Okay, so we're going to take him to formation shake. And... Oh, let's just, just take him to formation shake. And... Okay. There you go. Okay, so that's, we did that. And now I think, let's see here. Yeah, I might have to do something that I don't want to do. Okay, first we're going to... Essex is going to turn. Let's see here. We're going to rotate. I think this is one. Nope. Yeah, that's good. That's one. Wait, is that one? I did, I did one. Is that... We we don't count. That's so, half. You need. So, there you go. So that's one. Yeah, that's and, one. And then I want it. That's one. And then I want it. And I can only. And since I'm formation shaking, I only have a movement of three, right? Four. Four. Okay. So then. It was yeah, eight. cavalry is a movement of eight, so it's halved. Okay, so then I'm going to do rotate again. That's a half. This should, yeah, uh, yeah. That should make me two. Yeah, there you go. Correct. And then all I'm doing is then I'm moving one closer. Yep. Okay. Okay, so this so Balfour back here, he could be able, he he should be able to move one, or are you gonna be able to get a shot at me? Oh, but then you'll get I'll be up on this guy's flank, so I don't want to do that anyways. Nah. Okay, well, Bedford. Balfour, Bedford. the cav. Uh, are you yeah. talking about moving this guy right here? Balfour the cavalry. I can't see your mouse. Remember, I can't yeah, see your right, mouse cav. Your it's a cavalry guy. Balfour's cavalry. Yeah. You want to move? No, I, I decided against it. Now, keep in mind, I'm in Hedgehog. I can't shoot. Oh, you can't shoot anywhere, can you? Right. I don't. I don't think when I'm in Hedgehog, I can't shoot. Let me let me just validate that. I, I know I can't move. Right. So it's hedgehog. They got all the, the all the pikes out there pointing out. Is that what it is? Yeah, exactly. My golf. Yep. A unit in this formation may not fire, initiate close combat, or voluntary move or voluntarily move. My God. <laughs> the benefit of this formation is that the unit does not have any flank or rear facing and receives beneficial close combat modifiers. So it'll mm -hmm. suck for you to try and charge me, but not shoot I can't fire and I can't move. Yeah. I'm, I'm just coming up to shoot at you anyways. 
we just got a whole bunch of pikes facing outwards on all sides. All right, then last thing I want to do for movement is CS6. Okay, he's going to, we're going to rotate. Sure, did it right. Yep. So is that right? Is that one? No, because he's going to have to move closer to Gerard. He has to move. He, he has to move at least one hex closer to the closest enemy unit. Okay. Yeah, Gerard's the closest. Uh, yep. Uh, you look. That's okay. Closest that's in line of sight. Mm -hmm. Right. And okay, so I'm not sure that even even if Byron was the physically closest because of the guns, I don't think he's in line of sight. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so I, that's that's one, right? A rotated one. Correct. Okay, and I should see. I, I have movement of what six, isn't it? Four. Four. Okay, that's one. We're gonna rotate again. That's two, right? Mm-hmm. You didn't need to to do what you're trying to do, but... To come here? That's three. Yeah, you could do that, right? That'll give you two on his flank. Okay. And Charles is going to... Let's see here. It's going to be three away from the cavalry. One, two, three. Okay, that should be it. All right, do you agree? Yep. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so we'll start with uh, C Essex doing a salvo fire into the, into Gerard here. You can't. You can't. You moved. Oh, that's right. That's right. You're right. Oh, yeah. Yep. That's, that's, he can't shoot this turn. But he but he can charge into him. He could try close combat. That is correct. Yep. Okay, so then we'll just go over to Lord General. And Lord General is going to do a salvo shot. Okay. I guess, I guess that was hard to guess. I was going to do that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and put the marker on it just so that we don't forget. Okay. He's been marked. Okay. First salvo shot is a five. That puts it at two hits. Second salvo shot is a four. That's two more hits. Total four hits. Ow. All right. So that takes you down to two. Yeah. And Morale. that puts him below his casualty threshold. Yeah. So it's a morale check plus two. Okay. Which he passes. Un unbelievable. <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> That he did that. Absolutely unbelievable that he managed that. I guess they decided, um, to, decided to give up their lives for King Charles. Yeah, well, and it, at this point, because they're going to break, um, he's going to return fire, and they're going to return fire with Salvo. Okay. That's two. Mm-hmm. And one. So three, that takes me down to seven. And it's a morale check plus one. Okay. Oh, he didn't pass this. Ooh, that's a massive fail. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, so he breaks. And he has to retreat how much? He has to retreat two and is morale broken mm -hmm. all right uh, earl of essex has a job yeah he does <laughs> okay so now now we're going to do so oh it was, we, it was, we do all the fire combat first and we'll come back and do the uh, correct close combat. right okay so over here bedford the calvary and balfour the calvary are both going to Expend their last two, their last pistol shot. So that's two okay. Shot. So those are two, two separate right. shots. Right. 
and there and so let's see I go ahead and mark them and they're both formation shaken oh, I get a mark? so they're both minus one um, the defenders in hedgehog so plus one okay so it's just a straight up shot okay basically seven eight or nine yep first one nine that's a hit and second one miss okay now because he's got a morale of six he's got to take a morale check because he took one hit minus one um but it's minus one and he passes mm -hmm. and you already took your casualty off there yeah, I already took my casualty off. Okay. All right, we'll do the same thing over here. We if our we got a. Oh, good. I still have another pistol shot. I got okay, okay. This Essex light guard lifeguard is going to fire a pistol shot. That's there. That takes. Yep. Out, there will be out of pistols at that point there. Right. So this is this is just a straight up shot, I believe. No. Yep. Yep. Straight up shot. It's minus one because he's formation shaken. Seven. But oh, but that's a miss though. Minus one. Yeah, it's a miss. Well, except it's not because he's in Hedgehog. Oh, that's right. Because so it's even. Yeah, so it's a seven. So it's even. So it is a seven. So it is actually a hit. That's one hit. So you're down to nine. And then, then the Essex Calvary is going to do the same thing. He hasn't. This is his first pistol shot of the game. Right. And so he's firing a pistol in, and it's an even die roll also. Correct. But he misses. I guess he he, needs he to misses. Warm. He needed to warm up a little bit. But, yep. hey, but he needed. He's but he's he, he's not doing it. Okay, but, he, but you know we were we forgot here. Um, a Ashley and King Charles both have to take uh, die rolls. Actually, they don't. They don't because they're not in the hex that you fired on. Oh, uh, you're right. You're right. Or that that I actually hit. That you hit, right? Essex, Essex, you fool! So I guess they were intimidated by the by that king in there. <laughs> they were they were being gentlemanly. Uh huh. We won't. We will we'll fire over his head as a giving a warning shot. Right. Okay. So now we're over here to uh, C Essex, close combating Gerard. Right. Okay. So. Here's the deal. There's no wing commander or army commander. The morale differential is in my favor. Mm -hmm. So it's a uh, minus one. Okay. Short the mark. strength ratio is highly in your favor. Mm-hmm. It's 11 to 2, which five to I'm going to have to look it up. Is that a 5 to 1? Or I guess it doesn't really matter there. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't go that high. Um, it's really stupid that this isn't on the terrain of, or on the player aid card, too. Well, that, that's back back 17, 20 years ago. They didn't make millions of player aid cards, did they? No. Uh -uh. And the, the, then we have the have David Heath at the far other end of the extreme. Right. Who has a bazillion player. He has more player aid cards than he has counters. <laughs> or, yeah. Or the if you the stack the stack of player aid cards is is higher than the, the rule book. So yeah. You need you thing. need a separate box for the player aid cards. Um. I'm not complaining. That's good, but <laughs> oh no, it's it, I agree, and and that's definitely one of his things, right? He's he's really adamant about that, particularly in lock and load. Oh yeah. Well, anything to make it easier for everybody. Yeah, that's the whole idea. All right, so eleven to two mm -hmm. is five to one, which is a plus two. So you were minus one. Mm -hmm. Now you're plus one. Okay. Okay. Um, close combat matrix is even Steven. 
heavy infantry versus heavy infantry. No cavalry. For each flank rear hex defender is attacked from. Um, and that's two. Mm -hmm. so okay, so now you're up to plus three. Right. Uh, attacker is not formation shaken or formation broken. Did not fire salvo, uh, but does not have heavy heavy infantry momentum either. No. Uh, however, the defender is formation shaken, mm -hmm. so that gets you to your plus four. Mm -hmm. Right. So roll them plus four. Okay. Gosh. All right, roll low like you've been doing all night. Well, I, I, I rolled high when I needed to. Yeah, I want you to roll low like you've been doing from like, around. Like, a, how about a nine? Yeah, that ain't gonna. He's a he's a goner. Um, and you must advance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we knew we knew he was a goner. At least he broke that one unit before he went. Yeah. And you don't have to advance. Okay, I advanced. All right. And that's the end of your activation. Are you going oh, to yes. do a continuation? Oh, yes. You're going to try to preempt me? Uh, oh, yes, absolutely. I'm going to try and preempt you. Who? All right. So Astley is in receive charge. Uh, so a preemption's a zero to two minus one. Mm -hmm. Nope. Which he does not do. No continuation. Yep. So I get a no continuation marker. Okay. Okay, so the Earl of Essex now has to take, get rid of the morale shaken over here, right? This is next the next step. He could do either one. He could he could rally or he could reform. I will finish reforming. How's that? Okay, he's formed. Just has a morale shaken now. Yep. Okay. All righty. I guess, uh, yeah, I guess when there's, so I, I since I'm under charge, I got to go straight here. It's my, so I'm with you got to continue. You have to roll a continuation though. Why? Oh, that's right. I thought I did. Yeah. Oh, then, then nope. I, I, I I flubbed the yeah, and I need to put this the guy preemption, back. but, yeah, but you got to you got to still roll. Yeah, and I, there I, I was jumping the gun here. Okay. Yep. I jumped the gun, so I put him back to formation but. shaking. Okay, so I'm under charge zero to three minus one, right? Correct. No, he's no. finished. He's finished. He is finished. He is finished. Okay. All right. So that puts, uh, you've got fielding now. Yeah. Okay. So now since fielding's activated, this guy's that I'm going to move the Earl of Essex instead of doing any reforming over there up to here. All right. Okay. There's one. Okay. okay. Yep. Okay, and then I need to move this guy, move fielding. At least one closer to the closest enemy. Yep. There, there we go. And now we need to try to, uh, you're going to try to preempt? Uh, I don't have anybody that can preempt. Oh, okay, because you're still down here in a rally? Uh, I mean, I could. Astley could try, but if he 
fails to do it, then he gets no turn at all. What, and Lord Wilmot can't because he's in rally, right? Correct. Okay. All right. We're going to try continuation. So it's just a zero to three. Yep. No. Nope. Probably won't be able to stop those guys. All right. It's my buddy Astley. Mm -hmm. And we're under uh, receive charge orders. Mm -hmm. So I can only do that in terms of a move. What was that? Belisile moved one. I didn't, I didn't see it. Who moved? Belisile. This infantry down oh. towards my guns. Oh, that guy way down there. That's the reason why. Okay. Yeah. All right, I'm following you. Yep. Uh, but because I'm under received charge, I could only move one. Okay. Um... And we're going to go ahead and have uh, Astley is going to reform. Not that that matters. Um, yeah, that I, I didn't actually need to do that. Um, Technically, again, those guys have no formation. Mm -hmm. And but if, they, they, if, if they, they come... Right, or if they come out of it, then what happens? They go to formation broken. Okay. They come out of Hedgehog, they're automatically formation broken. Okay. It takes three reform actions takes a reform action to bring them out of Hedgehog. Oh. It takes a reform action to go from formation broken to formation shaken. And then a third reform action to go from formation shaken to good order. Okay. So that's, that's not an easy, it's not an easy thing. To, it's it's much, not an easy thing. Much easier to go into it than come out of it. Yes. Especially if you're being forced into it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, they... They, they really can't do much here. Mm -hmm. um, but you're you're kind of shafted too because uh, from your cavalry in that you can't fire anymore and it would be suicidal to charge those formations oh, yeah. in close combat. Oh yeah. So we're, we're rapidly sort of getting to a point of ain't nobody can do much of anything. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Um, the, the armies have sort of battered themselves into submission here. Um, all right. So there isn't really any point. Uh, well, and I can't continue. So Ashley's done. Mm hmm You know, the, the that only leaves Wilmot. Yeah, you know, the battlefield was nice and neatly organized in the beginning. Not too long. Yeah, ago. it was <laughs> not too long ago. Um, all right, so Wilmot is going to Wilmot's going to go ahead and try and change orders from rally to make ready. And he needs a zero to four to do that, minus one. Okay. Which he does. Oh, come on, man.
All right. Then he's going to fix this guy's. He's going to perform a reform action and fix this guy's formation. And given that he's in make ready, he's going to go ahead and try and do a continuation. Okay. And in make ready, it's a zero to two minus one. And amazingly, he does it. Mm -hmm. So now he's going to try and switch to charge. Okay. And switching from make ready to charge zero is to zero to five minus one, mm -hmm. which he does. Oh And now that we're all in charge. Mike on. My buddy Karen Arvin here. Is going to do that. Okay. And <coughs> then my dragoons are going to go one, two, three. Four. Because I can. Mm -hmm. um, and there's no fire combat. So Wilma and Cairnarvan are going to do a charge right into Valfour. Okay. I got, I'm sure they have momentum. It's probably going to be plus four. Yeah, they do have momentum. Absolutely, they do have momentum. Come on. Move out of the way, butthead. Absolutely, they do have momentum. All right. So, there really is no such thing as a charge. There's only close combat in this game. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. So, I have a wing commander. Mm -hmm. He's minus one, or in this case, plus one. Right. My morale is a seven. Your morale is a seven, so there's no differential. My strength is a three. Your strength is a four. So now we're even Steven. Okay. All right. Um, close combat matrix is nothing. You haven't got a pistol. Nope. Um... I'm going to expend a pistol shot. Okay. Takes you to plus one. Takes me to plus one. Um, I'm attacking from a rear hex. Mm -hmm. That's a plus two. Right. Um, I am not formation shaken or broken. I didn't fire a salvo, but I do have cavalry momentum, which gives me a plus two. So there's my plus four. Mm-hmm. Uh, I actually didn't need to fire the pistol because your formation shaken. Mm -hmm. I'd be plus five, but eh, I said I was firing a pistol, so we're doing it anyway. So it's plus four. Okay. Here we go. Defender. That'll end you. Mm -hmm. That'll end you. There you go. All right. Now the problem is I got to move. Mm-hmm. And now you got to check too, right? Uh, check what? Cavalry pursuit. Yeah, you do have to check for cavalry pursuit. Um, I need to get rid of my momentum. Actually, no, I need to leave momentum on there because, well, no, it really wouldn't matter. We're at the end of this turn. Uh, however, I am. I did take a formation hit. Mm-hmm. 
And have to check for pursuit. Uh, they are cavalry under a charge order, which is plus one. But you were under momentum too, so it's a plus two. Yep, it's plus two to the check, which is a three. Um, a pursue and eliminate. However, you're already eliminated. Mm-hmm. Um, so I don't have to do anything. Okay. Because you're already eliminated. And that will be the end for Wilmot, who comes in here at the end of the whole battle and pitches into the fray. Mm-hmm. All right, that's it for eight or nine. Okay. Oh, no. This guy here has to move, doesn't he? What okay. guy? This, this guy here is morale broken that I went up to try to save. Uh, Yeah, yeah, he's going to have to move. How many? How far does he move? Four. One, two, three. He's right on the edge of the map. Yeah. <laughs> Still have a chance. Still have a chance. Yeah, no, you get him. You'll get him next turn. Yeah. You okay. will absolutely get him next turn. So this is the last now, turn, right? Yeah, this is the last turn. So here's the thing. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know that it's worth playing the last turn. <laughs> You're going to rally that guy. Right. So he's not going to count. Um. I'm going to go ahead and, you know, I'm, I'm going to take Rupert's boys and get them far enough away that Essex can't do that. Charles Essex one can't do anything. Right. You don't have any pistols from Bedford. No, but he can, he can, char he can charge into this cavalry unit. He could charge into the cavalry unit. That's true, but... And then, and over here, Essex has one pistol shot left. What well, Essex has one pistol shot. Mm -hmm. So you can't do two hits with a cavalry pistol shot. No. You can only do one. Mm -hmm. Therefore, you can't force a morale check on Byron. No, but I can. For, but I can try to. But if I get a hit, I force King Charles to take a shot. Yeah, I mean, you could. If I get a hit. You could, you could force me to try and roll a nine. Uh -huh. um, so, yeah, I mean, we can go ahead and try it. I don't it's, think it's, it's going it, to take that long. <laughs> no, because there isn't much anybody can do. No. I mean, not not much is going to happen here. Um, ended up marking that guy formation broken, and he's just formation he's shaking. shaking. Yep. There we go. Um, All righty. So yeah, let's, we can play since we don't normally play it all the way to the end. We got we, we got to have thirty minutes here. <laughs> yep, that's all right. We can do it. Um, so we're ten. Mm -hmm. All right. So first things first. Well, first things first. Unflip, unflip, fired. Clean up, move. Yeah, I think I had. A, I think I had a. Uh, oh, the salvo guy is dead, so I don't have to take. It. Salvo guy's dead. Yeah. Um. Okay. Well, um, so Rupert and his boys all right, so this guy he can turn all the way around for two uh -huh. three or. Five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. Rupert's going to go with him. 
and King Charles, who got who got activated, is just going to go right there with Astley. And Rupert is done. All right. Mm -hmm. Um. So it's Balfour. Okay. First, okay, Balfour's, and then and Earl of Essex is active, so he's going to uh, take get rid of the morale broken. Yep. Got the morale shaken. Oh, he does have a salvo on this guy who needs to go. <laughs> Get rid of the salvo, too. Oh, okay. Okay, there, and then formation broken. Right. Okay, so then that's so, but he stopped. Okay, question here. You're further away than uh, Byron, but you're, you're there, I guess, I guess that's, where, that's who I'm seeing, right? From... From Essex, right? So who Essex? Yeah, Essex line of sight uh -huh. would be towards Rupert's boys. Okay, I don't have much of a choice then, do I? No, I I don't think so. I mean, it it's six in one, half dozen in the other. You you could move, you know. I mean, he's six. depends on depends depends on whether you say line of sight is out the front hexes or not. Let me look that up. Okay. Well, I mean, I I'm, I'm not going to disagree with you because I, I mean I know, but if it's a matter of distance, then it's a different story. But... Yeah, that's what I'm not sure of. It's mm -hmm. it's the closest enemy unit that you can see. And what we need to see here is what does line of sight really look like? Line of sight is traced from the center of hex to center of hex and does not depend on go, it doesn't go through the front hexes it can go through any hexes and it also turns out that line of sight is not blocked by units so yeah um It's one, two. Well, it's five three, hexes one four, way and six five, the other. Six, seven. Remember, yeah. You can, you I, can't, I mean, you can't count from. Remember, we decided you can't count from what's coming up there on the screen. Right. It, it's immaterial. I mean, one's five. It's five to Bat Byron and uh, six to Rupert. Right. In, in either case, you can't make it. Oh, right. I mean, that's I got. I mean. So it's it's easier to chase after Rupert because yeah, you don't have a, to try and wheel. Right. That's what I'm thinking about, just going after Rupert anyways. Yeah, that's what my, I would do. My plans have changed um, so slightly. I mean, given it at turn 10, uh -huh. doesn't right, matter. Right, <laughs> right, right, right. I only got three shots at it, so. Okay. So... Yeah, that's true. I mean, you could get a continuation. You might make right. it. Because somebody's going. Somebody, yeah. But somebody will be going out of out of uh, command no matter what. One, two, three. Right, four. and that's the problem. Right. You, right. you have to move back into command. <laughs> right. That's okay. We, we, we which might. which is two. Right. Okay. So these guys are all. Movement of four. 
let's see here. He's going to rotate. Oh, wrong, wrong rotation. One, two. We'll do one more. Oh, wrong way, David. That's one. One more. That's two. Yep. Three. Yep. One, two, and three. Okay, I am firing on you. From who? From the dragons. The dragons. Yep. Go ahead. Yep. Yep. But Not I, a big fire, but a no. fire nonetheless. No. Yeah. Go ahead. And I'm pretty sure they miss. Yep. They miss. Okay, we'll start. We'll start down here with the dragoons and Essex. Essex has momentum. It doesn't matter. Why? That's a light infantry of strength one. They're oh, gone. Oh, that's true. That's true. Okay. So, do I need to do uh, any kind of a? Um, you have to advance. Okay. But into I... that hex. I wonder why I got. It's almost like there's two two counters there. You know. You see that? Yeah, it's it's again. That's something weird about this module that. Okay. It does that. All right, we're, I think we're done there. Right. And up here, let's see here. Okay, we got Bedford and Essex Light Guard. Or... Yep. And I think these guys have a morale of eight. What's your morale? But so we no, we start off. I have no leadership, no wing commander. Right. And I do, so that's minus one. Here. Let's see. Um, uh, your average five. morale is eight, and mine's seven, so that's a plus one, so that's even Steven. Yeah. You know what I forgot? I forgot to move my bow forward, but that's okay. Um, strength ratio, you're two, four to my three, so that's even. Mm-hmm. Um, close combat matrix, that's nothing. I'm going to expend a pistol shot. Okay. So now it's minus one. Mm -hmm. You're going to expend that pistol shot? I don't have a pistol shot. You don't have any pistol shots. Mm -hmm. um, so it's minus one. Um, there's no flank rear. You are formation shaken. So that's minus two. Mm -hmm. um, you. Yeah, you, you made a bend, so you don't have momentum. Oh, yeah, these guys don't have momentum. Right. So right now it's minus two. Um, however, I'm formation shaken. Mm -hmm. So that's plus one. So right now it's uh, minus one to the die roll. Uh, okay. Kind of scary. Yep. Ah. But that's pretty good. Defender morale. Uh, def I have to retreat two hexes. Um, the attacker must advance into the vacated hex and check for cavalry pursuit. Mm -hmm. so, so, where you, so where are you going to move to? I guess through your own guys? One, two. No, right oh, over here. Okay, gotcha. Remember, there's no zone right, of control. Right. Okay, so the life, I guess the life... But this is lifeguard will have to move forward. And do, do both of them have to move in there, or they can't both move in? No, no, they can't. Right. Can only move one. Right. However, does it say we try for pursuit? Yep, yep. you check for cavalry pursuit. Mm hmm. Now, this could give you a chance. You could actually eliminate. Mm hmm. Okay. So it's plus, uh, yeah, plus they're one. under charge, so it's plus one. Plus one. No. Oh, ho, ho, you break off. 
Mm-hmm. You break off. Yeah. Probably a time when you did not actually want to break off. No. Oh, wow. Oh, oh well. I guess the next thing, I, the only thing next to do I, I have is to try to continue. Um, and you can do that. I'm going to try and preempt. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to try and preempt with Wilmot. Okay. Who <clears throat> is doing charge. Mm-hmm. So a preemption on a zero to four minus one. Mm -hmm. He does not. Okay. So you you got to no continue for Wilmot. And yep. now let's see here. I got a zero to three minus one, right? For continuation. Correct. No. Nope. Charles is finished, I guess. Finished. And that's really about it. Yep. I mean, I, I can't get to you unless. I mean, you can't get to me, and I, don't I can't. I, I mean, don't... I I could. There's nothing I can really do. No, you can't come out of the hedgehogs in time either. No, I mean I could come out, uh -huh. but I'm formation broken, right. so I can't do anything. Mm -hmm. um, I can't move. I can't do anything. There's no reason to do that. Okay. Um, I could, I could, you know, I could yeah. move Belisla one. Uh -huh. That doesn't do anything. Right. I mean, the only thing it would make a difference if I continued, then I could have had one more shot to take out. Yeah. Rupert. Right. And I could have had another right. shot at shot at Wilmot. Right. But no, not today. Not today. We are just too tired, or or the sunset just just right now. Yeah. Well, that's and, and again, this is pretty much how it really happened. So. Credit for that, um, you know, that's that's not a bad gig. So let's look at counts here. My guess is that we're going to draw, but let's just see. Okay. All right. So let's start. It's, uh, I believe it's Parliament minus Royalists. Right. where it comes down to I got the score tablet if you just want to tell me the numbers I can put them in the if you, if you want to count them. um okay so every eliminated cavalry unit is worth 10 right do you need me to count uh, do you want the cavalry units counted yeah just call me because or... yeah because I have this little chart here oh okay all right so you're, so first of all, I'm just going to get rid of these these light infantry and dragoons. Don't mm -hmm. count for nothing, so I'm getting rid of them. Right. Bunch of counters we don't need to worry about. Mm -hmm. All right, so one, two... This is for parla this uh Parliament. well let's start here. All right. So these are victory points scored against the Royalists. So these are parliamentarian victory points. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 for cavalry that's been eliminated. Huh. Let's see here where those scores go. Oh so Oh, that's from that's Parliament from... scored fifty victory points for cavalry. I'm not sure how this thing works. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, all we got to do is is count. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's really simple. It's okay. So just write down you got fifty fifty Part points so far. Okay, that's okay. Okay, I see it here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, fifty. Yeah, 
there's there's five eliminated royalist cavalry, so that's fifty. Eliminated two hex heavy infantry units are ten apiece, so there's another twenty. All right, so that's mm -hmm. seventy. Right. Then per cavalry casualty point on map at end. Well, the only cavalry I have left is Wilmont. Mm -hmm. I don't think he has is he even casualty. And he has no cavalry casualty points. Mm -hmm. So the total... What, Prince Rupert? Those guys aren't cavalry? Those were musketeers? No, those are infantry. Okay. Yep. It's dragoons and musketeers. Okay. Um, the other points you get are for captured artillery. Mm-hmm. And for the Sakers, those are what? Four to eight pound Sakers. Mm -hmm. That's 10 points. That's 10 points. So that puts you to 60. Mm -hmm. Well, And then the Culverins are with 15 points. Mm -hmm. That puts you at 75. Well, it's 50, 20. That's 70, 80, 95 right now. 95, yeah, that's right. 50, 60, 70, 80, 95, mm -hmm. correct. Yep, 95 points for Parliament. And, oh, you also get a cav, you get uh, points for heavy infantry casualty points. Mm -hmm. So, there's another six. And another nine. So it's six plus nine or nine total? Six plus nine. Okay. That's 15. So and, th and, and then three. Okay, 18. So no, another 18 on top of the 95. Okay. And that's it, you think? And that's it. Okay. All right. So now it's the same way over here. These are Royalist victory points. Okay. One, two, three, four. So 40 of cavalry. Okay. Plus 10 points for eliminating Ramsey. Okay, let's see where that is. That's... Army commander. He's a wing commander. So that's 50. Oh, it's, name, it's, it's here, name, unless it's changed, this is name wing commanders for five points. So it's 10? Yeah, because I'm looking at the actual scenario folder. Okay, all right. Yeah, each wing commander eliminated 10 points. All right. These are slightly different victory conditions than the base game. Okay. Um... Yeah, one, two, three, four, and then Ramsey. That's 50. Okay. Um, what, what was the 54? You got four cavalry eliminated. Right. Oh, oh, the total so far. Okay, I got you. Right. Yep. Then you've got one, two, three, two hex heavy infantry eliminated. Three? So that's 30 points. So that's, an, that's 30 points. Yep, takes you up to 80. So that's 80. Mm -hmm. And now we go to um, heavy infantry points that are on the board. Uh, cav cavalry casualty points. None of your remaining cavalry have any hits on them. Nope. Oh, don't forget um, your, the artillery. You captured two artillery. Yep, yeah, getting there. Okay. Um, okay, so the artillery, there's a four to eight pound Saker. Mm -hmm. That's 10 points. Mm -hmm. And then there's a Falcon. Yeah. And that's worth five. Okay. So it's 15 points of artillery. Okay. Then there's... Nine points of heavy infantry. 
okay. off of Charles Essex. There's 13 points off the Lord General. Okay. And there's 10 points off of Meldrum. 10? Yep, 10. Okay, that's 32. And that's it. All righty, we total this up. 40 plus 30 plus 32. Okay, so it's 127 for Royalists and 115 for Parliament. Okay. Minus 12. Draw. It's a draw. Yep. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What? what are you subtracting from what? What, what was the Royalist, what was the Royalist points again? 115. And the minus, Parliament was? Minus 127. Yeah, it's the other way around. It's Parliament what? minus Royalists. It's a decisive parliamentary victory. You mean I won? Yeah. Oh, you're right. Parliament minus Royalist. What was I doing? That or... Yeah, it's Parliament minus Royalist. No, see, Parliament had one hundred and Parliament had one hundred and fifteen points. Okay. I thought you said Parliament had one hundred and twenty-seven. No, points. Royalist. Royalist had one twenty-seven. Oh, Royalists have 127. Yeah, so it came, okay. to, so it came to minus 12. That's why it was, yeah. Yeah, okay, that makes sense then. A, yeah, so then a that's draw. a draw. Yeah. That's a draw, yeah. Mm. Yep, that's that, that's actually what I expected it to be. Yeah, you were surprised at me when you said, I oh, wait, wait. <laughs> Well, no, I thought I thought that you said that Parliament had no, no. the higher point total. No, no. Um, so yeah, so it came out to be a draw, which is kind of where I expected it to end up, um, given the first time we played. And there's a lot, I think, now we know about the game system, it wouldn't necessarily be this kind of bloodbath. Well, yeah, <laughs> being able to move, have the, the army commander having a job. It, it's huge. Yep. But and I and I have, I've tried this game for several years. Uh huh. Always solo. Right. But you and know, now that we got the like for uh, for the advancing fire. Yeah. That th that makes now you know how to attack. Right. For right. I, exactly. You you know how to attack. Mm -hmm. Um, you. Because I'm thinking, you know that it makes a lot more sense to maneuver your cavalry than to send them straight in. Right. Also, I'm if, thinking Parliament should have possibly could have started moving earlier because of that, you know, the advance. In, yeah. It, right. It's got it got closer to the center of the battle, which made it, it would make it harder for them to be be a easier to save units that are running away. Right. Now, on the other hand, it probably would have exposed them to the Royalist Cavalry a bit more. Right. Oh, I, yeah. But. Yeah, if, if I had made better use of the Royalist Cavalry early on, because mm -hmm. you, you actually have, there's actually more Royalist Cavalry in the Pursuit Box than anything else. Right. Um you know, ha literally half of my cavalry just ran off the field. Um, now, what I did was very in keeping with Rupert, mm -hmm. particularly at the beginning of the war. Um, in fact, it's fairly in keeping with English cavalry all the way up through at least the Crimean War. Um but it isn't necessarily the smart way to do this. And mm. it's definitely not what Cromwell did. Mm. Well, you, you know, like Essex, the guy that he was sitting on quite a bit, was, got formation shaking. 
in the, oh yeah. And, yeah, and I just sit there not knowing that I could do anything right. about it. Yeah, you could have you, you you could have done something about it. Right, exactly. And I I same deal. I'm like, well, I'm not going to move Charles up because he can't do anything. Right. That's why I just let him sit there, not do really, other than saving right. from Ralph fight from Ralph. Oh yeah, that makes that, yeah, that's, that's a, huge. It's, it's huge. It, that is the biggest thing. I I finally get the point of army commanders in this series. I have never, ever, ever, every time I've tried this game, I have never used them correctly. Mm-hmm. I I felt like they were attached to a wing. Yeah. They, own, they only activated when that wing activated, and they could only do one action per turn. Well, man, they could do all kinds mm-hmm. of crap. They're all over the map. <laughs> right, right. You know? Um, and, and it makes a huge difference because you can start rallying units that, you know, you, you would not necessarily, that we didn't rally. Right. Well, get right. Um, and you, and you, you don't have to worry about changing the leader's, the leader's command right. to do that. Right. Just right. Take, exactly. Take care, take care of the one that you think is most valuable. I mean, you're only going to have one unit mm-hmm. you can affect, but that's still good. But that's still great. I mean, and you can, now it... It does expose that leader, right? Well, you know, you know, in the very beginning of the game, you got three leaders, and possibly you have the odds of getting maybe you, know, you, could, you could get four activations, possibly, or three, you know, right? Three times with nine, so the odds are you maybe get half of that. So four, that's enough to quite a, quite a bit of activity for that army commander. Oh, it's huge! Yeah, I, I mean, Min- you could do all kinds of stuff. Minimum, you got a minimum of three activations per turn right but you could possibly go up to nine activations right exactly yeah i i mean this would have been really different really really different i'm glad we found out about it in the small battle because a bigger battle where it really affects even more oh yeah now having said that um there aren't a whole lot of battles that have a whole ton more counters than this. Yeah. Um, the scale on this is, is a little deceptive. These two hex units, mm-hmm. these are actually brigades. So they're several amalgamated foot regiments together. And y- you might get a third again as many counters in in some battles, but you're not going to get too awful many more. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I've got I've got literally all of these, so um, we can flip this around and play it the other sides. All right. Um, but after that, I've you know we've we've got all the rest of the battles that are in. Well, it's your call if you, uh, if, this you want occurs. To, if you want to flip it, or we can just since this is prehistorical. However, you want to do it. Uh, yeah, it it, it kind of doesn't matter to me. Um, it would be interesting to try it from the other side. Um, I have uh, all of the um, I've got Saints in Armor, which is the early Thirty Years War. Mm-hmm. I've got um, Gustav Adolf the Great, which is the 1632 campaign. It's, it's you know Gustav Adolf's Adolf's campaigns mm-hmm. uh, up up to the point he dies. So you've got the big battles, right? You've got Lutzen. You've got um, oh God, uh, yeah, the the earlier one against Tilly that starts with a B. Um, and and those have quite a few counters. Those are pretty big, pretty big battles. Mm-hmm. Um, there's four or five battles in that set. Um, you've I've got Sweden fights on, which is really the you know the the latter half of the Thirty Years War after Gustav Adolf dies. Um, we've got. Um, under the Lily Banners, 
which is the late, very late end of the Thirty Years' War, and then like the, um, the uh, Franco-Dutch War. So it's Turin and the Battle of the and and Rockroy and um, I think maybe the Battle of the Dunes is in there. I'm not positive. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then the the last one is. Uh, Nothing gained but glory, which is a, basically a war between Sweden and Denmark. Uh, it's got some pretty interesting battles in it. Mm-hmm. Uh, nobody's ever heard of the damn war, but it's got some pretty interesting battles in it. So, all told, we've got something like 25 battles. Okay. <laughs> 20, 25 or 30 battles using this system. Mm hmm. So we can play anything. Lots of stuff. And some some of them, like I said, are pretty big. The uh, let me uh, I'm going to exit this, and I'm going to bring up one of the uh, the Turin games. Yeah, I'm, I, I, since I don't have that, in, I won't be able to do that. Oh, that's right. You don't have that module. No. Um, but if you hang on a second, you'll have that module. Because I'll just email it to you. Okay. Well, in the meantime, I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and put the put the uh, Twitch stream down since we finished. Oh, I didn't I didn't realize you were you were oh, doing yeah. that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I've got I've got them all except the very first game that we did. So we'll, we'll just shut down the stream for tonight. We had a few people watching. Oh, that's cool. All right, give me a second here. Right. Okay, good night. Good night, stream. 